And let's just stay with the reading for the collective. Take what resonates throughout the rest. Hope everyone is doing very, very well. Appreciate all of your positive energy. What we got here? Two Pentacles reverse. Eight of Swords. Someone stuck, trapped, chaos, um, broke. Mentally unstable. Um, feeling stuck in their head, stuck in a situation full of chaos. They don't know how to get out. Um, well, I was also going to say, because it's Cyber Monday, right? One, one more uh, day here with Stacy's Stacy's jewelry, just a reminder. That she's doing buy one get one free plus 25 percent off for the collective and she's got all these really cool um evil eye protection jewelry there and if you don't see her size she will um do something for you custom okay that's the cyber monday announcement all right here we go so the challenge position, challenge, challenge position. Oh wow, look at that, Eight of Swords came out. So this is really about feeling trapped, stuck. Um, someone could be unsure, there is no good move to make. Someone could be stuck because of a mo um, money problems. Um, you know, paying debts that become too big, um, four of cups reverse in the subconscious. This has to do with being Rejoining the world, not being rejected, not being apathetic, being open to new possibilities, getting out of a rut, an emotional rut of, you know, just wanting to be left alone, boredom, somebody rejoining the world. And for some reason, that's in the subconscious. What do we have in the recent past for the collective? Seven of Swords reverse, somebody has been exposed for something. Lying, cheating, stealing. And that could be why there's all this chaos now, where people are realizing somebody is truly off balance when they realize what someone's done. Here. Expectations. Ten of Swords reverse, this could also be intentions, but I feel like it's expectations. I feel like it's expectations. Somebody who got stabbed in the back is recovering. Wow. Lovers, page of swords reverse under the deck. Some kind of stalking, slander. Okay, when I say somebody, we know it's you that someone stole from, lied about. Stabbed in the back ten times, has been stalking and slandering. They just, someone doesn't want someone to walk away. And somebody sees that somebody has a lot, a very strong spirit, and is recovering from something that happened. Um, ten of swords, they could be in this stalker energy now. Whoever this is, um, just turn that off. Somebody could be really imbalanced because of what's happening now. And ex 
extra stocking. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. There, someone's extra stocking here. That's what I feel like. Because they see someone recovering. Either they want to try to cause an imbalance in somebody, or somebody's just obsessed. Because they... Someone wasn't supposed to recover, apparently. And, and someone's exposed here. Someone, someone's exposed for what they've done, and whoever it is, is recovering. Whoever it is, you are recovering. You are recovering from what this person did. And they're upset. Nine of cups in the near future. Or they're besides themselves, they're very... Somebody feels real scattered. This Queen of Swords Reverse does. This is someone who's real critical, cold, bitter. Potentially not very smart. Because Queen of Swords in the upright is someone who's very intelligent. This could be someone who's real wishy-washy, unclear, making moves that aren't smart, they're not, or they're not using their brain. Um, there's a King of Pentacles who sees all of this in the upright, too. Um, this person feels uninspired by this thievery, the stalking, the... Yeah, something's coming, a cycle's coming to completion. Um, in the near future, that Nine of Cups, I feel like there's something, someone feels happy or satisfied with their life. Um, or someone sees something as a wish come true. That Nine of Cups has been coming out a lot lately, and it's interesting because I don't feel like the collective is in that Knight of Cups energy, even though I feel like it's supposed to represent you. And that's been happening for like a week. Not to say you're not happy. I just, I don't, I feel like someone else sees you as this wish come true. Because it's a very, it's a very, um, I feel like the collective is more of like a Ace of Cups energy, not this Knight of Cups energy. So I feel like this is somebody else. Doesn't have to be though. Um, because I feel like th with the nines, it's very internal or it's about the self. Um, and it's fleeting or momentary. So it could just also be how someone sees you. Just temporarily, you're just satisfied with wherever you're at, which is good. Um, but I just something about it makes me feel like there's either someone's perspective of you, you know, like they want to see you as like overly fulfilled and smug, spoiled, even maybe, even though it's in the upright, I feel like it's somebody else's viewpoint of you, or it's somebody sees you as a wish come true and someone knows that. Eight of Pentacles reverse. This could be someone doing something very petty. Um, They might not know actually what they're doing, but they're, they could be paying attention to detail. It doesn't matter. This could be someone that is lacking in a certain skill and they need to go back and rework something. They need to go to school to do it. Um, they need to learn something. Or it's sloppy workmanship, even tower in the environment. Somebody could be going through a tower. Someone is going through a tower, because it's here. Lovers, it has to do with two people coming together, a contract between two people. Someone's in competition, someone could be angry. Yeah, I feel like somebody is having an outburst here because somebody's overcoming some type of um, hardship, heartbreak, bitter truth. 
it's you are recovering from something, and this keeps coming out as well. Three of swords reverse, ten of swords reverse. Ten, ten swords in your back, in a broken heart. Somebody, you know, something you, something you had to see, you can never unsee it. And, yeah, there, there, there they are, Queen of Pentacles reverse. It's the same energy as the Queen of Swords reverse. This is somebody who's very, um, you know, this is another aspect of the same person, the same energy, you know, critical, cold, bitter, materialistic, superficial, judgmental this person lied about you it's been watching you stalking you um, you could have had a lot of people that you felt you trusted stab you in the back people might have believed lies that you thought well if anyone was going to know who your, what your true character is, it would be these people. And they stabbed you in the back, it could have been that. It could have been a partner of yours. A bunch of things could have happened here. And because you're recovering, I guess someone didn't expect for you to recover from that. Someone's having a tower. And it feels like someone's coming towards you or something like that, or a contract is coming together, and that means they don't get something. They could be making, trying to make plans to stop someone from seeing something clearly. Or they feel like someone's making plans, they want them to be on the fence. They want someone to be focused on greed, security. They definitely don't want you to get any any kind of offer here. Right now they feel like everything is flowing for you and they really want to stop some type of soulmate connection. Yeah, they want to win at all costs. But this person is really unstable and they've been caught. They hate that you meditate. Tower. So that's in the environment, which means they could be having this tower near you or around you. Um, they could be having um, a visible tower where people around them see it. So this is a faulty foundation falling apart. Something based on lies or ego falling apart. It's shocking. It's a shocking turn of events, nothing will ever be the same again. This could be someone having an outburst. And it's happening in the environment too. So other people can see it. And it definitely has to do with you recovering and some type of a partnership. It's, it's strange that someone would be so reactive to somebody just living their life. <laughs> it's really incredible. It's really, really incredible. Because you're not focused on this person, they're focused on you though. Hopes and fears, king of swords. This is a masculine energy that sees everything. Wheel of Fortune, something working out in someone's favor because of this King of Swords refer- uh, sorry, King of Swords in the upright. And someone having to let go of something. This could be an investigator. Wow. The Emperor. This could be a masculine energy that's your counterpart. Um, this could be Archangel Michael. This is a masculine energy who's in charge and control. Um but not controlling their guiding light within a tribal unit. This would be two different masculine energies. Yeah, and they've been waiting for something. It's not coming. 
they could be afraid of this King of Swords because they're getting investigated, or because it's Archangel Michael protecting you, or because there's a masculine energy that sees through an illusion who's very just. Outcome. Wow, King of Pentacles. Wow, and look under the deck, Seven of Pentacles and the Empress is sticking out. Someone's making a plan. Someone sees you as this empress. Wow. King of Pentacles in the outcome. This is a leader, a mask. I love all of these masculine energy in the in the upright here in this reading. Just above the King of Swords. This is a, a masculine energy that's very a powerful leader, very grounded, potentially well to probably well to do. Um, or just manages people and people very well and money very well. They're, they're someone that people can lean on. Um, very, very grounded. Someone's not able to fuzzy up this person's vision. This, and we... It's definitely about somebody, this masculine energy, seeing something as well. I think also, yeah, there's something about someone working really hard to, to create a stalemate. And, um, yeah, it's something about making plans and working really hard to create a stalemate. Or to create a stalemate with someone's plans. Put someone on the fence, make somebody indecisive, indecisive, yeah, confusion, indecisiveness, if that goes on forever, then nothing ever changes, right? So that's what someone's trying to do. Um, Two of Pentacles reverse. Let's clarify. Well, wealthy man. I think I feel like this is the King of Pentacles. There's something about there's like a powerful masculine energy that someone's been trying to manipulate or block. Um, stop them from messaging you or sending them messages or well, maybe this person is not replying to someone here this is someone that might have a lot of resources they're worried that this person is gonna connect with you they're very um much a leader They're trying to put, create a stalemate with this, yeah, they want to steal. This thief wants to, this, who's a false person, wants to block a marriage, or to me, this kipper means like an alliance as well. And I feel like wealthy man means somebody with a lot of resources, but it can also mean someone who's rich in spirit, because what it means is that it clears up a path, it helps you move forward towards your north node. And that, this person is like, extremely upset, and they feel scattered and reactive. Like they've, they've blown their top because they want to steal something and you were supposed to go down permanently and it's not working and you're recovering from something. Maybe this person's not interested in them if this is something like that where they're trying to, yeah, it's not working. This person's not interested in them. There's something that's happening they weren't expecting. Two of Pentacles reversed, they could be 
relying on this person for money. Adjudication. They're they're being judged. And this could have to do with an actual court case that's gonna leave them without anything. Um especially if they stole something, seven of swords. Um this could be the universe judging someone. Eight of swords are stuck trapped. They could go to jail even. This false for, for being false. They, they, they've been lying, sneaking. They're exposed. They could, their energy could be very scattered or all over the place because they're exposed, but they still want to block something, but they're stuck. Four of cups in the subconscious. Gift reverse. They're going to lose, lose the gift or they don't have the gift. It has to do with this marriage or alliance with someone. You're recovering, you're rejoining the world. Seven of Swords reversed in the recent past. They try to steal something from you. They're exposed. The High Honor reverse, Journey reverse, Privilege Lady reverse. That people know they're not who they say they are. It's like the, you know, somebody turned on the, the lights at 2 a.m., the party's over. And now, everyone can see what's going on here. It was all a facade, someone's a liar, they're a cheat, they, they're not upstanding. Someone could feel embarrassed to be around this person based on something that's come out that they did. <sighs> or that they've been trying to pretend that they're you and everyone knows what they've done, which sounds so weird, but they've lost re people's respect. And, and this journey is over. They've lost somebody's respect here. They're not privilegedly reversed, high honor reversed. They're not um, respectable. They're not... They could have been the center of attention or seemed like they had a lot to offer. But there's like something here where they were lying or cheating or stealing to get... They don't have the great fortune. They Whatever it is, the great fortune, this could be metaphorical. You know, like the wheel of fortune, something that is... You know, things could be falling apart around this person. Yeah, people could be in despair, or this person's in despair. They could have promised something, and they didn't get... get, or someone wasn't... someone thought they were going to get rich from a situation, this person made some promises. They could have stolen some money that they had, they could have stolen some money that they had in the first place and it made them look like they were... They had a lot, but it was stolen, it's run out, they don't have ideas. Or there's something about, because you're here, it could be multiple things going on. And they were slandering you or trying to steal something from you as well. Whatever it is, it came out, something came out, this person has lost respect. It could also be this person um, seems like, you know, like the golden child. They, they're they the center of the party. Everyone feels nurtured and, and around them. It's, it's a warm environment. Um, they keep a nice house. Um, they're a great host. They're very sweet. Um, sweet and... Um, everything's in place and there's a lot of joy and laughter around them and they come from a good family and they um, they dress nice and they're just naturally gifted and talented and that you know that's the end of the story but that's and that's what they've been presenting but the problem is that people now know that they were stealing something or cheating 
or lying and it's such a direct opposite look than what they were presenting that this person, you know, I feel it could be shocking. It's distasteful, something like that. Or they made promises. Yeah, sudden wealth. They had some sort of like plan or they s were guiding others towards this money. Or someone thought that they were gonna get this, they were gonna join forces with this person and get this money and it's not coming. It's not forthcoming. If anything, there could be a loss. They don't have any more ideas. They're not the privileged lady. This person could have lost some type of, they could have lost work as well. They could have had a really good job. Because there's definitely something about them stealing something here though. With this Eight of Pentacles reversed, they could have done some really petty things to steal something. And they're seen as a thief. Or if they can't continue with this, um, stealing from someone, they're going to go into poverty or people, someone's going to go into poverty here because something is over. It has to do with blocking you, stopping you, stealing from you. I mean, somebody could have been siphoning from something that's like an inheritance. These are multiple scenarios too for the collective. So take what resonates. Um, there's something about somebody taking your inheritance. There's some, something about someone being very spiteful and this person taking your inheritance instead of you, not for everyone. Leaving you out of the picture. Yeah. And someone's realizing that something is not theirs. It's not this person. Someone was trying to steal something so that they could be in your position. Not for everyone, but some somebody here is trying to steal someone's inheritance or money. That There's a lot of money left to someone and someone tried to steal it and be you instead of you, and you were like just left out here. I don't know if you were supposed to go crazy because of the way you were treated here. You were really left out in the cold or people were trying to say you're crazy or something like that. That's for someone. 10 of swords reverse, you're recovering though. And something about you recovering you weren't supposed to recover, and they're in panic mode. They're trying to, you know, this is like a dam that has a lot of holes in it, you know, and they're trying to plug the holes with their fingers and handkerchiefs, and, you know, one, they've got one thumb, you know, thumb over here, and they've got their toe over here, and their other finger over here, and then now a new hole and they've refused up all their fingers. They try to get a few friends to stick a hole in there and now there's just too many. More and more holes are coming through and it's rumbling and it's all starting to, you know, the flood, the flood is coming through the dam. Um, yeah, all that work that they put in and people are seeing maybe that someone's in bad mental health or physical health, some sort of clarity that they didn't get this great fortune. Of course, this also could be somebody manipulating a situation energetically and something is backfiring because you are you and what's yours is yours. Toil of Labor reverse is clarifying Ten of Swords reverse. So whatever they were trying to, um, to do, this reminds me of this Eight of Pentacles reverse. Toil and Labor reverse is not working Ten of Swords reverse. You're overcoming something here. It didn't work. They, they're not getting this great fortune. Nine of Cups in the near future. You're happy. You're, it's a wish come true. It's a wish come true. Um, marriage reverse. Courtship. Someone wants to leave a situation and head towards you.
So when someone says something happened to you, someone wants to come towards you. I have to clarify what's going on here. Even though it's in the upright, something feels strange. There, yeah, there's another masculine energy involved here. Something's going on that's potentially in despair about something. This could be someone in someone's friendship circle. Yeah, they're in co big concern about what you're going to get. Yeah, your pathway being clear because they were part of it. This main male. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Someone could be losing their job. They're doing something very petty. Um, or scattered, scattered work. Poverty. Yeah, they could be losing their job, going into poverty. They could be in bad health. Whatever they spent all this energy on, it's leading them to poverty and bad health. Tower in the environment. Everyone can see. Or it's shocking news about this person. Or this person is going through a tower publicly, it looks like, because it's in the environment. Everyone can see something about this person. They could be having a meltdown. Yeah, bad health in regards to occupation. This could be happening at work. This could have happened while somebody was at work. Or this has to do with, yeah, privilege lady reverse. Them losing a position and being in bad health. Maybe this means mental health or physical health. Something's backfiring. King of Swords, they're worried about this King of Swords. This could be an investigator. This could be Archangel Michael. This could be a masculine energy. Seeing clearly, not stopping until they get to the bottom of something. In regards to a courtship, yeah, something getting out of this family room, people finding out a truth, and it clearing up the pathway for somebody. That would be you. King of Pentacles and the outcomes, this masculine energy is cannot be, you know, they can't control this person or, yeah, unexpected income. Something is coming in for this person, this, this King of Pentacles. That they're just almost trying to control this person. Something's coming in for this person. There's another main male here that's in despair that was part of something. They, they're not getting this sudden wealth. So there's something here that involved, obviously, you being a loser somehow. You have to lose something. There's a lot of pain and betrayal here and backstabbing. And you losing something and more than one person doing something really egregious for money and being found out and it being taken away from them, whether by the universe, by th this court here, this judge, the universe judging someone, an actual court that's making a decision about some sort of legal situation um, and someone could go to jail for doing something this could be have to do with that as well um, or it's energetic where someone tried to push you out of the way because there was a relationship here with someone that you know um, has a lot of resources and or power or is very, uh, how it would be a powerful mix with you, some type of like a really good, um, alliance that would clear your path, help you move forward towards your North Node, your highest potential, or also this person as well. So, um, And there's something about definitely this person losing whatever they tried to steal, for sure. And whoever was part of it, sudden wealth reverse. And that's why I keep thinking, because I'm seeing official person here who really belongs somewhere as well. And that's what I'm thinking. There's something else going on as far as like, well, this could be energetic, spiritual. Your rightful place where you belong, what the universe wants. Or for someone here, this is about 
something that was like stolen at birth or there's something weird going on with a family someone trying to steal someone's inheritance or something like that there's some sort of lineage or something like that going on here for someone as well um where someone was trying to there's like a lot of like maneuvering and people trying to push you out of the way so that they can take the money that belongs to you I don't know if someone's trying to say someone's crazy or if someone altered some type of paperwork or something like that, but it was someone was doing something behind the scenes. Um, and whoever this is is very smug because they felt like they had this all figured out and they weren't expecting this tower. So they're real arrogant, I mean to say. Arrogant. Someone who's living the life or making it look like look a certain way. Let's do Sue one more pass. What else does the collective need to know about the situation? Someone, tell me about this person who's under adjudication and everything is scattered or unstable or chaotic or um, there's some, someone's going to lose money, they're not going to know how to pay for something, there's some sort of debt or mental instability or um, financial chaos because someone's a third will, someone doesn't belong here. And you're, you've been very calm through this whole thing. Someone's under adjudication because of the way that you've handled something. It's like someone was trying to steal something from you. You went up on some, you, wow. You didn't withdraw from life after something horrible happened here. And you weren't in your ego. You were very patient. You didn't let someone invading your space all the time throw you off. And someone was operating blindly. They were doing something. They were very arrogant. They weren't seeing something because of their, their pride or because you, there's something about someone being coached and their pride or something like that, how to gain something or gain, trying to create this stalemate. Someone created all this chaos to nudge you out of the way and all it has to do with is money eight of swords false person someone's trapped because they're exposed maybe some sort of wow look at that robbery under the deck right under the deck someone real manipulative Maybe someone even that dibble dabbles in lower vibrational spiritual practices to try to steal something. It's, they trapped themselves in whatever this is, or they're trapped because people actually know that could be the other thing. I don't know how someone would have found this out because I feel like people do this type of thing behind closed doors, but someone could be exposed for trying to do something overload someone could have done so much of whatever that manipulation is that they're very unstable everything is backfiring on them energetically mentally emotionally they're on overload that could be what this tower is it could be happening at work this person might not be able to function because of what they've done and you're right, because you're so calm, this person does, does not love themselves. 
something backfiring here. Four of Cups, reverse, gift, reverse. They didn't get the gift, and you're rejoining the world. There's something about trying to continue, keep someone blind in this continual state of like, compromise or to make all, to make everyone happy. Because if someone keeps up this energy as if both sides have a valid point and someone has to make a choice, then this could go on forever. But there was never, this was not ever real. It was to keep somebody from seeing something. This was not real. This con there was never two balanced sides with the valid points. There was never, you were never in some fight. You were never part of the other side of what whatever this is, but someone was trying to make it look like it. Someone thought they were stuck in between two feminine energies that were each had a valid point that were fighting one another. You were never part of any of this. Someone was trying to rob you of something that's yours. What caught exposed in the recent past? High on a reverse, journey reverse, seven of swords reverse. Someone's a thief, everyone sees it. Someone's a liar, everyone sees it. Um, someone was trying to sneak, everybody sees it. some type of position, their journey is blocked. Paranoia. It has to do with stalking someone. Can I get another one? I feel like this person could be exposed for what they're doing. They're they look one way, but what they're, they've been doing, and people somehow are seeing what this person's been doing. Something's a fantasy here, something's not real. Someone's been bullying someone. Yeah, overload under the deck. Somebody is like, Whatever they were doing, I feel like something backfired and it came to the forefront. Because of whatever whatever they were doing, trying to bully you, they lost people's respect. They were living in, in their there's something about their mind. something about their mental state or trying to bully you something could have come out about them trying to bully you stopping you from being so perseverant someone could feel blind to realize they were blind to what was going on but you've known this whole time Someone's been trying to create stagnation in your life. Stop you from getting married. Stop
stop you from living peacefully in your home or buying real estate or stop you from having real estate or something like that so that they could gain someone could be seeing all of this There's something about someone's mental state here it's like someone was hiding something and it came to a head here with this tower this instability this paranoia bullying you all the time, something backfiring because you've been very steady throughout all of this, perseverant, and it's like this person keeps doing more and more and more and more. It's come to a head here and they're exposed for what they were doing. This person became less and less careful as well about how they were going about doing this because the more it didn't work the more you kept recovering from what they, you know, recovering from the initial shock and realizing what was happening here and then started moving away from the energy and practicing self-care and healing from the betrayal, they, the more they kept doing. It was meant for you, you were supposed to be overloaded, but this person's overloaded. And it's showing visibly. Ten of Swords, Reverse, Toil and Labor. Trying to control someone, it's not working. Um, Nine of Cups, Marriage, Reverse, and in the future. Someone sees someone as a... I don't know, this feels new. I'm not sure what's going on here in the near future. Someone could want to apologize to you, or they want someone to stay blind to something and not come towards you. I'm not sure what that is. Someone's trying to forget something in the near future. I don't know, I have to clarify. I'm not sure what's going on here. Um. He has Pentacles Reverse, Poverty, someone's running out of money, losing a job, being petty, driving... They're not triumphing. There's a lack of vitality here. It seems like someone doesn't know what they're doing, or they don't have the original idea of something. They're not blessed, they, or they ruin their own blessings. The tower occupation, there's a, someone losing their job or some sort of tower happened at work, or somebody had some type of an outburst at work, maybe a breakdown, some type of a breakdown in front of people at work, because everything's backfiring. It has to do with someone trying to bribe someone or tempt someone, but somebody was ready for this. King of Swords, courtship, you're worried about this King of Swords coming towards you or protecting you or seeing something very clearly. I feel like it has to do with somebody's self-esteem. This King of Swords helping you. King of Pentacles in the outcome. This is not expected. Or this person is not expecting this. Um, there's a blessing here for this King of, of Pentacles or you with this King of Pentacles. Something, yeah, it's a really beautiful outcome. And it has, it has to do with you being calm through something here, having this inner peace, being able to live simply and meditating. Um, there's some sort of a beautiful outcome here with this King of Pentacles and a blessing. So I just want to do one more clarification because I can't see, understand what's going on here in the near future. So, um...
we want in the near future? Nine of Cups, Marriage Reverse. Divine Connection. But I also see Slander. And Stalker under the deck. Divine Connection Slander. not sure yet. I don't know. I don't know what that is. We're going to leave that there for now. Um, intuitively, I feel like I should just leave it there. Um, I'm sure we'll get more information as it happens when we need it, and we'll leave that for now. Um, but this ends in a really beautiful way with this King of Pentacles in the upright. Some type of blessing here. I'm going to get some guidance for the collective from the Which Way Forward deck as well. need to know as far as moving forward what's what's the guidance for this situation this shuffle do we have birthright something's your birthright so that's what we're talking about. It's something that's meant to be for you, and you've got this person trying to block that and take it from themselves. So what does the collective need to know about the situation at the current time? Return to sender. So there's a lot of bad vibes. Just return to sender, or this is because you've done that in the past already. You know, not absorbing. With love and respect, return to sender. Whatever someone's projecting out at you. At this time, I completely, you know, so self-love, practicing self-love, self-care, feeling good in the present moment in spite of, you know, a lack of support or big group around you giving you validation. Um, you're 100% good on your own or you feel complete on your own. It's not, it's not saying that people don't deserve or that you shouldn't want a partnership. It's saying that, or that you won't have a partnership. It's saying that you feel complete on your own. So keep return to sender and be good with this inner peace that you have continue doing that um because there could be emotions coming up some of these emotions might not be yours you do complete you um somebody could be projecting you could be very empathic and be picking up on it someone might want you to feel like you don't complete yourself like like you feel empty without someone or something like that um you are more than enough yeah, there's something about your self-esteem here. You've got a lot of abundance coming in here. A lot of abundance. Keep doing what you're doing. You're more than enough. You complete you. Return to center any of this negativity, this projection. Allow this abundance to come in. Just keep allowing. Um, manifest. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, and then we have under the deck, we have star energy. 
So it's like you've got the star child, star seed, energy, the star, born to shine, inspiring others, very unique. Future thinker, visionary energy. So just, um, you know, this is validation and confirmation for all of that. And just keep, you know, however that works for you, where if you look in the mirror and say, I love you, or know, know the difference between someone's energy projecting at you, bothering you, if you're in close proximity to this person or these people, um, keep your mat you're in a strong manifestation energy you're more than enough and you complete you if you resonate with this message i hope that it helps and i'll see you on the next one bye